Hi, welcome to SBR Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. We are talking right now with Indian Cowboy. We're doing a, uh, a preseason uh, discussion on current futures odds. We just got finished discussing the Eastern Conference and the Western Conference. Now we're just going to take a quick look at the uh, futures odds to win the NBA championship. And uh, if you didn't check out the uh, first two videos, I highly recommend it. Indian Cowboy Doc Sports, one of the premier uh, NBA handicappers um, in, uh, in, in the United States right now. And his record speaks for itself. Indian Cowboy, thanks for being with us. Hey, thanks for having us, Pete. All right, so tell us once again what your method is for uh, handicapping uh, the NBA and what your results were last year. Well, we love calculus, and that's basically what we do all of it on. It's our calculus-based derivatives and math models. And last year, we went 94 and 62 for 60% for plus 12,890, number one in the country, obviously. Every single one of those selections is documented on our page. College basketball, 6545 for plus 4,500. Put it together, 263 selections is all we do every year. We hit 263 every single year. So we have a system that we do, one play of the day. You know, we limit our selections. We just go with our best selection, and whatever happens, happens with our models and predictions. People use our predictions for a lot of different stuff, a lot of different networks and websites, and a lot of folks use it for a variety of stuff. But our job in the NBA is we love taking teams off bounce backs. We love taking teams who just got trucked the day before by 20 points. We follow the injury reports closely. Typically, injuries lead to overs on posted totals. So these are a lot of things that we track, but a lot of it is our power ranking system. All right, well, now we're going to talk about uh, just futures odds to win the NBA title. And, of course, there's a ton of randomness and variance involved with uh, with these odds. So, you know, you have to take this uh, kind of with a grain of salt. It's fun to think about, though, you know, although, you know, it's not one of these things where you might uh, seriously think that there's great value on any one individual bet. As you said, it's kind of like betting, uh, you know, uh, golf, uh, you know, golf, tournaments, basically. You know, you want to bet, uh, people like to bet the, the, the top 10 finishes to make the cut, but uh, betting on someone to actually win it is a little bit, uh, you know, you're, you're playing with a lot of uh, randomness and variance there. But right now, the Cavs at Pinnacle, plus 262 to win the title. Second choice from the West, the Spurs, plus 366. And then there's just three other teams with uh, odds less than 19 to 1, and they're all less than 10 to 1. OKC at 568, the Bulls at 728, and the Clippers at 944. Which of those odds uh, strike you as particularly interesting? And at the end of the day, you know, I think you have to give the Spurs the edge and mm -hmm. then you have to give the Clippers the edge. I just think the West is just so much better than the East mm -hmm. consistently. And I think when you face that kind of tough competition, it comes into play in a really difficult series. Uh, and you saw, you, you know, San Antonio didn't just beat Miami. They destroyed Miami. Right. You know, those games weren't even close. Right, and that's right. because you have a full season of you have a team coming together for a full season and play really tough contests. I mean, look at the parity in the West. We talked about it in the previous video that you mentioned a great point. Five teams within the, you know, within by 10, right? right, right. As far as odds are concerned. Whereas in the East, you basically have, it's, it's like a two man show at, at best, you know, and maybe a three man show if you include Washington as a dark horse. But at the end of the day, you have to give San Antonio the edge and the second edge has to come from a team from the West. So we mm -hmm. think it's the Clippers. Uh, those are the two teams that have the greatest, greatest likelihood of doing well. And then we have the Cavs as the third best. Um, they, for as good as the Cavs will be this year, at the end of the day, you know, we just think San Antonio and the Clippers are just better teams overall. And Doc Rivers knows how to coach. Sure. He is a better coach. Yeah, of course, Pop is the best coach of all. He's one of my, right, he's right. my favorite. But, of course, Doc is second. Indian Cowboy from DocSports.com. Thanks so much for all your thoughts on uh, all these NBA futures. Indian Cowboy's opinion is that uh, the two choices which, uh, with the most value to win the NBA championship, the Spurs currently plus 366 at Pinnacle, and the Clippers plus 944 currently at Pinnacle. Thanks so much, Indian Cowboy. The SBR Network offers free sports picks and game breakdowns. Big money free betting contests year round, a real time Vegas style odds monitoring service, and much more. So come see for yourself. To stay updated on SBR news and promotions, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Google. And do be sure to subscribe to the Sportsbook Review YouTube channel to catch all our daily sports shows.